Russian opposition in exile leans towards supporting armed resistance against Putin. More and more Russian dissidents in exile are beginning to advocate for armed struggle against Putin's rule, though not enough have embraced this tactic as of yet, three Russian resistance group members said. There's definitive support from the emigrant centers, says Alexei Baranovsky, a volunteer fighter from the Freedom of Russia Legion. Only in the third year of the war did they start to consolidate and provide assistance. Though largely delayed, it's there. It would be helpful if recruitment for anti-Putin resistance groups could be expanded across Europe, according to Baranovsky. For now, only the Civic Council, Russian anti-government NGO based in Poland, is actively working with the Siberian battalion, he said. Where's the rest of the opposition in this regard? The direction is right, but we hope for more significant results. We're pleased with the trend we're seeing, said Cold, a member of the Siberian Battalion, another Russian resistance group. More and more people realize that, unfortunately, armed struggle is the only way to change power in Russia. Putin's special military operation has made this clear to everyone. In the current climate in Russia, advocating for fundamental human rights like personal choice, freedom of conscience, religious practice, and inherent personal freedoms demands a more assertive approach. This necessity arises as peaceful methods have unfortunately not achieved the desired outcomes. Cold explained that peaceful protest doesn't work in Russia and as a result, his group contains people from a variety of walks of life, including professional soldiers, business people, mechanics, and so on. At some point, they all understood that simply lighting flashlights doesn't work, concluded Cold, referencing the numerous peaceful demonstrations brutally suppressed by Putin's regime. The stance of prominent figures in the Russian opposition thankfully began to change in the war's third year, said Denis Nikitin, commander of the Russian Volunteer Corps. They've realized that roundabouts, forums, petitions, paper cups and flashlights can't budge a despotic regime like Putin's. The opposition's efforts should be directed at supporting the fighting Russian units. I'm talking about the Russian Volunteer Corps, Siberian Battalion and Free Russian Legion because we are at the forefront of the attack, the spearhead that must pierce the heart of the Putin regime and perhaps Putin's heart in reality. Nikitin claimed that Russian freedom fighters had gained the support of prominent Russian dissidents, including world-renowned chess master Garry Kasparov. There are people who understand that we are carrying out the only possible effective work, waging a war against the regime, Nikitin said. If they're not ready for the same form of struggle, they should either assist us in our fight or not call themselves the Russian opposition. Migrants break through security barrier at U.S. border. A crowd of migrants has torn down a concertina wire barrier and broken through a line of Texas National Guard troops while trying to cross into the U.S. from Mexico. The standoff occurred amid heightened debate over border security, with Republicans accusing President Joe Biden of dereliction of duty. Footage of the incident posted online shows migrants dragging down a section of the barrier and a group of five National Guardsmen forming a line and trying to stop them. Many of the men hold up their hands, signaling for the troops not to shoot them, but seconds later, migrants push through, knocking the heavily outnumbered soldiers out of the way and running to the border gate. The New York Post, which had a reporter on the scene, said the incident occurred at a border crossing in El Paso, Texas. About 600 migrants massed on the Mexico side before a section of the border barrier was torn down. After racing to the border gate, the men shouted at the troops on the other side. An unidentified source told the newspaper that the group was pushed back to the Mexico side of the border. The Texas National Guard was deployed as part of Governor Greg Abbott's $12 billion Operation Lone Star crackdown to stem flows of migrants illegally crossing into the state. Biden's administration has filed lawsuits against Texas challenging the state's authority to put up barriers and police migrant traffic. 
the federal government normally has jurisdiction over border security, but Abbott has invoked the state's constitutional right to self-defense, arguing that Biden's dereliction of duty has triggered a migrant invasion. Earlier this week, a federal court that is hearing one of Washington's legal challenges temporarily paused implementation of a new Texas law that would allow state authorities to arrest and deport illegal migrants. Last attack showed us that, yes, it's a violent invasion. Conservative commentator Mike Chenovich said in a post on X, the true nature was hidden as the regime left the border open. Now, there can be no denial.